You know, people can get a little freaked out when the computer starts acting a little bit strange. There could be some software, some applications on there that you don't actually know what they are. Maybe the mouse is just moving by itself. Maybe the computer is just performing really, really poorly. We're talking about 10 things that you could look out for on your computer to see whether your computer has been hacked. Before we do get into that, my name is Emilio. I am a tech YouTuber. I love technology. I release videos every single week. So if you want to make sure that you stay up to date, why don't you click on the button on the subscription button on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. So these 10 are going to be true of people who are running on a Mac computer, people who are running on a Windows computer. And I'd also recommend checking these out on your smart device, on your iPhone, on your Android, on your tablet as well. Let's go for number 10 down to number one. Can you actually log into your computer or your network device? If you can't log in, there could be something wrong. Maybe the password has been changed. Maybe some access has been changed. If you can log in, why don't you check some of the devices that are out on your network? If you're at home, if you're in a business, you've probably got a router. You know, your router controls all of your network traffic coming in and out of your network. So your Wi-Fi as well as the internet connection and the speed is all directly related to your router. Are you running at a reduced speed? This is something that is gonna be very, very common for people who have been hacked. The computer, the network speed, the Wi-Fi is running a lot slower than normal. If you're downloading things, if you're going to websites and it's just not performing as quickly as it once did, why don't you go and actually do a speed test on your device. So that'll actually check the performance and the speed of your network connection. You should know with your ISP, with your internet service provider, the speed that you should be getting on your internet and on your Wi-Fi. Is there some strange behavior on your computer? When you log in, does it look slightly different? Does your wallpaper look different to what you had before? Do the icons look a bit odd? The text on your icons, are they the same? Is your mouse flickering? Does the mouse move on its own? Does the screen sort of blink from time to time? Does your overall login profile on your computer look a little bit odd? Have you been locked out of anything on your computer or your smart device? Let's say, for example, you had some files, you had some folders that you regularly access, and now for whatever reason, you can't get access to them anymore. What about applications? If you're on Windows, you wanna to try to open up your control panel, your system settings. If you're on the Mac, can you open up the system preferences? If you're on a smart device, can you go into specific settings or applications that you've got that you commonly were using? You get a little warning message when you're trying to access your common applications. This next one may require you to go and check your network. Go and do a scan of your network to see if there are odd network devices found on your network. Something that you can do is if you can get into your computer, into your smart device, you can actually download some network scanning software. What that will do is that'll scan your network at work, at home, and it'll show you all the devices that are on your network, that are connected into your network. You, somebody who should be administering and keeping track of all of the things that are on your network, should know what devices are yours. If there are some odd things on there, you need to find out what those odd things are. They may be an intruder that is snooping and spying on your network. A very common one is when you open up your web browser, can you actually navigate to your home page? Does your home page pop up by default? When you go to a specific website, does it actually get to that website? Or are you redirected to a different page? Does the website look different to what you're expecting? Maybe you go to google.com and it directs you to some other website that looks very odd. Are you getting strange messages on your computer? When you log into your computer, when you open up your phone, are you getting maybe your wallpaper saying, your computer has been hacked, your computer has a virus, you're just seeing maybe ransom notes. A ransomware attack is something that is very, very common of a computer that's been infected with malware. Asking somebody to go and actually pay a ransom to be able to unlock some files. Are there an increased amount of pop-ups happening when you're on the internet? When you're opening up a website, are you getting a whole bunch of pop-ups showing up that before you didn't get? Multiple pop-ups are a good sign that you may have been hacked. Now, one thing that I would recommend in this next step is to actually go and interrogate the apps that you've actually got installed on your device. 
you should know what applications you have installed. If you don't, you need to go and find out and make yourself aware what apps you've got. Are there strange applications installed on your computer? If you're on Windows, you can go into the Add Remove Programs into the Programs area through the control panel. If you're on the Mac, you can go into the area in your Finder and Applications. If you're on a smart device, go and check your applications on your phone, on your tablet. Do you know all of these applications? Do you actually know what they do? Did you actually install them? Or did somebody else install them? One common way that a hacker will get into your computer is via malware getting installed into your computer and then an application, perhaps a screen sharing application, a remote control application that essentially allows an external hacker to be able to get remote access into your device. If they shouldn't be there, get rid of them. I'd actually recommend if you're suspicious that something is going wrong, contact your service provider. Your service provider should be able to tell you from what locations people have been logging into your computer. If you're based in the United States, if somebody's trying to log in from Russia or from China, watch out. So keep some constant communication with your internet service provider in case you have been hacked. So what do you do from here? Well, one of the best things that you can do is you now go and download some software onto your computer to scan your computer and make sure that everything is clear. If you're on a Mac, I love Clean My Mac. I use it all the time, so you can go and download that one. I've got a link in the show notes below. Why don't you let us know in the comments below whether any of these 10 are happening to you. And also, hey, we're a tech channel. We release a lot of videos every single week on tech. So if you want to stay up to date, click on that button on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you next time.